Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Jotinger Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to, to Botscopy, a Botscopy live from Port Ginesta in Barcelona, Spain. Today, dear friends, you will follow me aboard this brand new Prestige M48. Yeah, you discover it just in front of me. Uh, this uh, Prestige M48 is the first multi uh, motor yacht by Prestige. Let's meet Rosalie Legal, product manager at Prestige Yachts, to, to make us discover this new model. Hello, uh, Rosalie. <laughs> Hello, Nicolas. So, Rosalie, yes. behind you, yes. the first multi motor yacht by Prestige. Absolutely. Uh, why did you decide at Prestige Yachts to enter this market? Well, we actually, from our experience of the motor yacht market, which is quite important because we are a leading brand yeah. on the motor yacht market from 40 up to 60, 65 feet. Well, our experience sh was showing that our clients and, and boat users are seeking uh, more and more for space, comfort. That's really what they are looking for uh, to improve their uh, boating experience. There are some other key trends, like also the, um, the, 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 the fuel consumption of the boat, that yeah. it's becoming a real topic, and uh, also the comfort at the the stability, and the decision to go for um, this multi-hull base came from the fact that this catamaran, this multi-hull, is the perfect technical platform to answer those needs and to go even further compared to what's already existing on the market to add additional value to, uh, to our boat owners. Yeah, it's the fourth product line at Prestige. It's the fourth one, absolutely. The, um, so at Prestige, we have uh, the, the, the very uh, famous Flybridge line. Yeah. Um, and you're, we are you're world leader yes. on the, the segment between 40 and 60 feet. Yes, definitely, absolutely. And from far compared to the others. So, yeah. so yes, the Flybridge line, we also have the S, S line for the coupe boats. Yeah. We recently launched the X line, the crossover, mm. and um, and now we have the fourth one, which is the M line, M for multi hull. What is really surprising, we will have a, uh, a look at the at the side of the boat. Uh, what is really surprising, Rosalie, is the fact when we look at the boat, we could imagine it's not a multi hull. Exactly, that's, that's actually uh, the original intention. Uh, as I was saying, for us, the, the two hulls is, is, a, is, a, is a platform, is a base to create the next generation motor yacht. So to make sure that we could bring our customer from uh, the traditional monohull to the multi-hull and attract some more, we believe that creating a design that is streamlined, a, a pure motor yacht design was the key. Yeah. So we asked our... Uh, um, historical designer Camilo Garoni. Yeah, it's uh, really surprising because uh, Gar Garoni is not specialized in multi -air. No, not but, at all. But you, you ask him to imagine this boat for the respect of the DNA, I, I believe. Exactly, exactly. Well, Camilo may not have a long experience in multi hull but he's, he's a genius yeah. in uh, arranging the spaces, in, in creating a new design, and of course he has he, his uh, the prestige DNA, so yeah. that was the, the perfect combination. Yes. So we will go aboard, yeah. dear friends. Follow us. There will be place enough on board. Uh, first, first of all, what is surprising is the beam of the boat. Yes. Well, we are on a catamaran, so we have a wide boat. Uh, it's a six meter beam. Six meter beam. Yes. Wow. So that's compared to monohulls. That's what you would uh, find above 70 feet to get this beam. Yeah. And we know it's like everywhere, the width, the beam, uh, creates the, the, the volume on board and creates the, the, the perception of space more than the length. Yeah. What is surprising is the design of the bathing platform. Yes, well, uh, one of the advantage of uh, catamarans is so to be wide and to be able to offer plenty of space there. So we used uh, those, uh, this architecture uh, to um, to create um, a new experience uh, here uh, um, around the swimming platform. So this central lifting platform lifts up and down, yeah. up to almost the cockpit level. So while opening this, um, this furniture here, this pulpit, you have access, direct access from the cockpit 
on the basing platform. And it's so like a terrace. It's like a terrace above the sea, like yeah, you can imagine. Cool. Or it's, you can imagine having a coffee above the sea in the morning, or it's also a perfect like diving, diving platform for yeah. the kids. So it's extra, um, extra functionality uh, for this platform. Then the platform slides um, at even to the same level as the fixed platform. So that creates an ah. extremely wide uh, uh, bathing area. area. And uh, that allows us to open this huge storage that occupies all the surface, all the volume below the cockpit floor. And this is just dedicated to toy storage. Wow. Kayaks, paddleboard, diving gear. A really good idea because the tender will find place area on the bathing platform. Sure. And so you have a, a dedicated area for toys, sea toys. Wow, huge volume. A really, really good idea. Yes, and the platform uh, goes down under the water level of for the tender, uh, the tender launch. Wow, so let's make us discover the cockpit. Yeah, six, a six meter beam offers a volume of a 60 feeter or 80 feeters mono, mono well it's approximately um, in terms of uh, a square meters in terms yeah. of real estate yeah it's similar to a 60 feet mono hull really but it's a range yeah a range in, in a different way because it's shorter but wider yeah so it's more squarish and that helps a lot to uh, arrange and accommodate the boat in a very nice and convenient way yeah. Yeah. different external uh, uh, social areas aboard. We yes. will first of all discover the cockpit. After we will go to the forward section to discover the the forward salon. Yes, and, uh, exactly. And after the the flybridge. The flybridge. So, how did you decide to uh, organize this uh, beautiful cockpit, uh, Rosalie? Well, uh, this cockpit is ab definitely uh, designed for uh, as a uh, as a great socializing area. Yeah. You see how many people could uh, sit around the table. Um, the table also converts into huge dining table, so you can have eight guests on board very comfortably. Uh, this kind of nice sitting here is really appreciated, especially when underwear, because you are well protected and you have yeah. the, the view on the sea. Look at these uh, side windows. Yes. Wow, really good idea. Possibility to, to close uh, these. Uh, yes. To this close cockpit. this cockpit, which create an extra living space yeah. in the uh, in all the cooler season. areas in all seasons, absolutely. Um, uh, and when you open the, the table, you can by putting this uh, chair away directly yes, reach this chair. You yeah. can slide it and put somewhere else, and then have direct access to the to the terrace, to terrace the cockpit terrace. Yeah. Of course, you can secure the terrace. Of All course, around. with tensions, of yeah. course, for safety. So, second, the social area, external social area on board. Mm, flush. Flush deck windows, good idea. Really securing balcony. Wow, two, two different, uh, two different uh, functionalities yes here we have uh, so this very nice forward area people enjoy it especially when you are at the anchor in the evening because you've got almost 360 degrees view on the sea yeah uh, you get the breeze when you are at the anchor also uh, you get the privacy sometimes compared to especially when you are at the marina at yeah, the dock sure. so it's a very nice sun, sun bathing area but also ceiling combined with a, a salon so we have this kind of uh, accessories like we call it the secret lights. Secret lights, yeah. So the sunshade. So you can imagine, uh, yes, in the evening having drinks here all together, sharing a nice moment, some nice music on. Beautiful uh, salon area forward, secured. Yes. Secured uh, by sailing. And from the forward section, we discover the flybridge. So the flybridge is a uh, wow. A key point of this uh, multi power boat by, uh, by Prestige with a huge, huge volume it offers. I, I believe, uh, uh, I believe, uh, Rosalie, that uh, it's maybe 
the, the place to be on board. Yeah, definitely it's one of the main living areas, especially when we are underway, when we are uh, cruising, because this is where you get the best view all around. Yeah, sure. Uh, the less noise also yeah. from the engine. What's amazing is that when you are sitting here at uh, 15 knots, you, you don't hear the engines. So you're just, you know, uh, sailing on the sea and uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing, yes. So, five oh. people yeah, facing five. the sea by, by sailing. Yes. Really comfortable, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice finishing and comfortable uh, seatings. Yes, all uh, electronic and navigation uh, instruments to... Uh, what, what, what about the engines? Uh, Yes. Uh, what about the engine? Maybe different engine you offer on board? No, we, are, we have one engine option okay. because we like at Prestige to optimize uh, the engine configuration to the whole architecture of the boat. Be that's where you get the, the best of everything in terms of, uh, of speed, of fuel efficiency and of uh, uh, handling of the boat. So um, our philosophy here is to offer a, um, a calm and steady navigation so the top speed is uh, is approximately 20 knots well, of the boat yes and but most of all what you what we offer with uh, with uh, this m48 is the choice to choose your cruising speed it's not a planning boat mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a catamaran so at any speed below the 20 knots the boat has a perfect and optimized efficiency so you can choose to the, the fast cruising is around 17 knots, yeah. then the boat burns 80 liters per hour total. So that's already uh, uh, very uh, quite amazing compared to the, the space you get on board. Yeah, of course. And then if, uh, if you want to, uh, I don't know, if you want to reduce the budget or if the sea is rough uh, and, and the wind goes up, then you just have to decrease your speed and the boat handles perfectly. So uh, if, you, if you sail at eight, nine knots for people who are long cruisers, what, what's the consumption? But then the consumption drops to 20 liters per hour. For both engines? For both engines. 20 liters? So this becomes... With such a volume on board? Yes. So wow. now we can talk about a more reasonable and m maybe more sustainable way of, yeah. of motor yachting because, well, that becomes uh, a, a, a very small figures and then you cover up to 600 nautical miles in terms of range. So that really opens uh, the program to new, uh, uh, new to horizons. Yeah. To new horizons. What kind of transmission aboard? So it's, it's a V-drive. Um, what we do is, uh, according to our target of speed and, and, and fuel efficiency, we choose the best engine transmission to, to achieve this. And uh, V-Drive is uh, simple, works really well, and is perfectly suited to this type of program and speed. And the great thing is that it's a Volvo engine. Yeah. With, uh, which, which kind of, uh, which number in the range? It's D a D4, D4 yeah. so, uh, two times three tr 320 horsepower. And it's uh, combined with the Volvo joystick, ah. uh, which we know very well uh, at Prestige because it's installed on every Prestige of the range. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, uh, powered with Volvo, and uh, that makes the maneuvering like super easy and intuitive for anyone. In any case, the catamaran maneuvers and handles very easily because yeah. the you have only one boat thruster uh, yes. aboard. Yes, because the the fact that the um, the engines are uh, far very apart from yeah. each other uh, makes the maneuvering much uh, much easier for the boat. So. So rotating on his axis, you, it's just the two engine that does the job. The ball thruster is just to uh, to move away from the dock. From the dock, yeah. So so y there are two ways of doing. You can you can do it tr like the traditional way with the throttle and the, and the ball thruster, or you can go with the joystick. It's up to you. But yeah. in any case, it's super intuitive and and yeah. uh, and and smooth and easy. Thank you to the both hulls. Yes, thanks to, to, to the Twin Hells. So sure. about the layout, we have a, a great salon on uh, starboard. Yes, a lot of seating around the table. Also, this area, as you see, those um, backrests, they move around. So you can create a big sunbathing area or you can adjust the seating for okay. your comfort while you are underway or you can choose to sit facing backward. So it's a nice and easy way of... Uh, of um, changing the, the layout. And there is an exterior le, a galley? Yeah, of course. Uh, 
the flywheel is a great place for grill mm. because then uh, sure yeah then the smokes and everything is uh, goes away so yes this one is equi equipped with a fridge with a sink and uh, and yes and some storage so uh, that's a typical uh, prestige feature that our owners enjoy a lot so yes this is this is a must now we will uh, go inside and discover the interior layout specifically the owner suite really huge owner suite but before before uh, before what is interesting is the fact you uh, the cockpit can be uh, really opened to the interior and uh, yes the co that's you have again a, a common uh, volume yes that's one of the prestige uh, dna features as well to create a, 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 a single unique, yeah. Yeah, living area on the main deck with the galley being at the center of this living area serving both yeah. the interior saloon and the cockpit. Typical position of a, a yacht, motor yes, yacht. Yes. Because you can cook and discuss with friends. Yes, everyone is all together uh, yeah. and uh, you can really share everything um, and, it's, and it's huge and functional so that's important also. Gale is on uh, starboard, Salon is on port side. Uh, a lot of equipment huh, for this galley. Yeah, really fully complete. Equi fully equipped galley with a uh, almost full height fridge, uh, electric oven, induction stove, um, lots of uh, very um, smart ah. and, uh, and genuine storage. Ah, it's a really good idea. Ni nice finishing. What is this? Uh, so this is a uh, this is a very nice uh, Italian uh, material called laminum. It's a ceramic yeah. with a printed decor on it. So the great thing is that the look it, it has the touch of, of the, the marble, of the marble, but it's yeah. not as heavy as the marble. So that's for okay. us. It's uh, it's very interesting uh, material. Yes. Yeah. Some nice finishing details. How many uh, different woods do you offer on board? As of now, we are offering this uh, option, which is a uh, walnut wood. Yeah. And uh, people really appreciate. So as of now, this is uh, okay. the only uh, wood uh, option we have. But you can choose the countertops colors. You can choose the fabric okay. for the sofa. You can choose the flooring as well. So still, there is uh, some nice possibility for, uh, for customization. How many people can sit, can sit on this salon? Uh, eight people comfortably eight people, around. Yeah. If you have, if you had two chairs, uh, you would sit eight people, very six to eight, very comfortably. Yeah. With a, a, a total view on the sea. Yes. Again, that's even if you sit. Even if you sit, yes, of course, that was one of our criteria uh, for uh, the designer is to make sure that when you have a, when you sit, when you have a drink, when you read a book you never lose the sea view yeah. uh, and never lose the fact that you are on board the boat in a, in a beautiful environment. Yeah, sure. On uh, starboard you have a, a, side, door, a side door, typical uh, prestige feature yeah. to make, uh, there's two functions. First, uh, easy circulation, especially when manu maneuvering, maneuvering from, at, uh, uh, from down below, and natural ventilation, natural ventilation which is without uh, climate, yeah. climate control. Yes. On starboard, you have the interior piloting station. Yes. How many uh, cabins do you offer uh, aboard? So the, the, the main layout and the one we have here is the three cabins three bathrooms yeah. so there is uh, we'll see a huge honor cabin located forward we will conclude the private tour uh, with the cabin with the because uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to yes we, we have to <laughs> yes definitely and uh, and then in each hall we have a guest cabin yeah uh, which uh, with a, a private ensuite so the one of the great feature is that it's not uh, there is no hierarchy of cabins like honor vip and guest there is the owner, and then the two other VIP. cabins have the same space, offer the same space, same yeah. comfort. What is surprising is that each cabin has a, a private access. Yes, Intimacy exactly. is total intimacy aboard. Yes, exactly. And that's, that's a very interesting feature. Also, you, we will see the, the natural light, also the sea view from, uh, from, uh, from the bed when we are in these cabins is uh, absolutely amazing. 
beautiful natural light wow huge volume yes uh, with a uh, direct view on the sea yeah when you are lying on the bed you have a double view on the sea yes i imagine that the both beds can uh, yes on in both um, uh, vip cabins the slide the bed are on rails so you can slide them apart so oh. either you have a double bed or two single just a, an easy way to adapt to different kind of uh, situation and programs yeah very good idea so this is the um, the bathroom for uh, this cabin but it's also serve the as, global as a day head yes day head, yeah. because it has a direct access from the staircase you don't need to go through a cabin yeah. and very close to the entrance of the boat so that's very well appreciated now the second vip cabin on starboard private access and in this case the head is uh, integrated to the to the cabin yes yeah. so in this one we have the same volume the double bed uh, configuration really, really similar volume it's huh? it's uh, it's symmetric actually and again the amazing uh, panoramic view on the sea storage wardrobe a lot of storage wardrobe and now <laughs> Let's keep the, best the last, the but not the least, for sure. the Orna suite. The Orna suite. It's, I, I believe uh, it's uh, quite unique on, on the market uh, to offer such a, such a, such a suite aboard a uh, 46 uh, footer. Absolutely. I wow, mean, wow, 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 wow. This cabin is five meter wide. Five it's meter wide. Full beam cabin. Yes. Whoa. So what, what's the surface? The surface is, um, uh, is 17 square meters of uh, living space, yeah. <laughs> so some people have this as a studio. Yeah. So it's quite interesting. And yes, five meters wide yeah. on Earth's cabin, this is, you don't even get this on a 70 feet monohull. No. So uh, sure. a lot of natural uh, wide li Again, light. yes. Panoramic Again. view on the sea, uh, uh, the king roof. size bed, a lot of yeah, natural ventilation. Again, that's yeah. key for us. Um, and beautiful plenty of storage. Beautiful details, finishing details. Mm. Yeah, these uh, woodworks are. Yeah. And you have. Yes. A this desk. is uh, this is uh, yeah uh, office desk and storage. Storage, lot of volume. Yeah, a canapé to be able to to read. Yeah, read a book. Uh. Read a book alone. And 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 and. Uh, in each hull, you have a specific functionality uh, from the head. Yes, uh, exactly. On the port side, uh, this is the shower and one uh, sink. So then we have a space for a huge shower. Wow. And on starboard, starboard. we have uh, a separate toilet with a sink, of course. So again, on to have that on a yacht is... Uh, is quite a luxury because it's absolutely not easy to find. We talk about the luxury of space on that yeah. boat, definitely. And silence. Yes. Because uh, uh, because of the architect architecture of the boat, yes, uh, there is less noise aboard. Yes. And you less you, you need less power mm. too. Yes, absolutely. That's what we were saying uh, when we were on the flybridge. But um, yeah, less power is. Um, is always a positive cycle for us because it's less weight from the engine, less noise, less fuel consumption, yeah. and uh, the result is only benefits for the users. The uh, M48 was first showcased a few weeks ago in, uh, in Cannes. Yes. How yes. was she received by first clients or uh, yacht owners and uh, from your uh, dealers? Well, we can definitely say it's a success. We, we sold a lot of units on the boat shows. Yeah and uh, we didn't even expect that many uh, and there was a very strong interest from anyone uh, we had a waiting line behind the boat every day yeah, yeah, the sure. boat was really busy i think what what was attracting the dealer and the people is the fact that first it's new new concept yeah. it's uh, not seen before 
people really appreciate the exterior design of the boat, this motor yacht style, and when they come on board, uh, they are all amazed by the space uh, everywhere and how it's arranged and combined with all the small details that makes life on board very uh, nice and smooth and easy. You are the first motor yacht builder to enter the multiple motor yacht, motor yacht sector. Uh, yes, as a, as a leading uh, manufacturer yeah. in uh, monohull motor yachts, as we, are the f we are the first brand to enter uh, also uh, a multi-hull uh, segment for sure. Yeah. An idea of the price as a conclusion? Yes, well, the base price of that boat is around 1.1 uh, million euros uh, without tax. And the boat, as it is uh, specified here with the major uh, options, options yeah. comes at uh, around 1.4 again without the tax. Million Thank euros. Sorry. Thank you very much, uh, Rosalie. Thank you, Nicolas.